Hey, we're live. What's up in the bud? I received an AOK -okay of Australian kangaroo simple Simon, and I'm here to unbox it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so, let's open it up. I hope I know what I'm doing. And there's probably no one in the chat. <laughs> it's too early, right? I think it's for all the Americans. Oh, snap. The only thing that I know that there's a letter inside, which I, I'm looking at right now, and I have to read it out loud. And it's... Ooh. All right. Oh. <laughs> I'm already laughing. Okay. So it says, Dear Sona, my A-OK my -okay I've been meaning to send for months is finally here. I've seen all the AOKs your fanboy sent you, and I know I simply can't compete. But luckily, this is not an AOK. This, not, this is not an act of kindness. <laughs> this is an AOL, an act of love. Ooh. I remember when I first found your videos through Grayman shoutouts, which I'm pretty sure is one of the biggest regrets of Simon's life. Um, I thought to myself, who is this god babe who reads comics? And through 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 the comments was able to creep my way into your YouTube life. <laughs> We've become close on it, but after you refused my proposal <laughs> of G plus stream, I realized something. Your heart is as cold as ice. <laughs> and our love will never be. So much as you want this smoking Asian fat as that part of mine. <laughs> You're just going to have to settle for a name who shall not be named. <laughs> anyway, in all seriousness, you're a bitch. I agree. And I appreciate your friendship. Open the rep gift last. It's my cat <laughs> as requested. <laughs> As you're probably by death by the time you get this. The book I was most excited to give you, I've had for you since August last year. So I was shattered when G Spot sent it in his AOK. -okay. But that's okay. Now you have two. And you can treat my copy like you treat me <laughs> like trash. <laughs> Take care, bitch. And keep it simple. Tell your fanboys to top that. I will just do that. <laughs> And look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's the best part of the AOK. Okay. The letter was the best part. <laughs> the comics. Yes. Finally, I got a love letter. <laughs> <laughs> I will frame this letter. That's a good one. I'll put everything into that. Hey, Matilda. All right. So this is the inside. <sighs> So you set to what was last? The rap, the, the rap present has to be last because that's my dead cat. So that's the the Christmas tree. Ooh, la, la. Ooh. All right. So what do we have here? <gasps> Simon. Yeah, the OG one. That's so cool. I've been actually looking for this. Did you know that? I remember you mentioned, I think, in my video where I had it, and I was like, yeah, they're the old school ones, and you were telling me they are hard to get. So I've got both. I've got the masked and the unmasked, so I thought you could have one. Uh... <laughs> Matilda wants a love letter, too. I'll get you one, Matilda. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have freaky Louie in the house. And we have the lost comic kid, who I believe is actually a kid, like legit a kid. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, because uh, I remember this person was like giving me attitude in the, <laughs> in the live chat. And then I went to the Instagram. I was like, who is this motherfucker? Then I saw it was an actual kid. I'm not part of the league. Keep it simple. Woo! Yes. And I'm almost out of those. I've only got about three or four left. 
But it's not signed. Where's the signature? Oh, I didn't do that. It ruins the card. <laughs> Shall I send it back so you can sign it? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Uh-oh. So I had to throw in the pot because the books were like, ugh. I, I've had the I've had like books put aside for you for months, and then all your AOKs kept coming through. I was like, I can't send my crap. Ooh. That's crazy. that's actually a cool bag. Comics art. Is that for Mark? No, different shop. Shh, don't tell Mark. <laughs> Ooh, all right. I should put it this way because the carton is. Uh oh. Why did I put it here? Ooh la la, ooh la la. Oh, snap. Oh, is she going at it again? No one sends me love letters because I am a cunt. A gothic cunt. <laughs> the gothic cunts. Yeah, but Matilda, you're you're only begging for like hot dogs in your meat purse, so her live stream with Gray Man last weekend was fucking funny. Oh she just judges the shit out of these books. Right, so I'm just not trying to look because underneath there's a cover. Woo! So here we go, simple Simon. I think it was originally it was only like literally five books and then I kept having to add more to it. Jam and holograms. Oh, that's right. I had, I remember, yeah. I had this trait in my hands, but it was trait number two, and I was like, fuck, they don't have number one, because I was really into the uh cartoon a few months ago. Jam is my name. Ooh. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that when I got that. I did that unboxing that my friend gave me a bunch of stuff. And I, you, you said something about Gem, and I was like, I do not want this book. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the centimation <laughs> pile. <laughs> we just leave it on there. So maybe someone will jump on the screen and be like, I can fix all. that. <laughs> This is cool. Oh shit, there's an actual art piece in the back. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh my uh, drawings from Lamo Frame. It's just the, the simple Simon original, huh? That's right. You mean this one? <laughs> that's, but hey, it's pretty. I love this cover a lot. <laughs> That's why every AOK you got, I was just like hoping, don't pull that book, don't pull that book. <laughs> of course, there was like 500 books in your last AOK. Of course, it was going to be one. <laughs> right. But I'll put it together with the Funko Pop because that's that's the Simon. Uh... But he just sent you that. He just sent you that issue one. I sent you the whole mini series. Are you now revealing what's in the AOK or the AOL? The AOL. <laughs> and we have another art piece. Boops. It's kind of like if I had red hair, I would be looking like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. The life of Captain Marvel. It's one day, changed her origin story completely because suddenly she's like half Cree. Kitty. That's Simon's cat. That's the <laughs> only. Siri, I read. I haven't really read any Captain Marvel. I think I read the first two or three issues of that, and then I never finished it. And I was like, you know what? Cool. Have you already got those? I have only a few, but not complete, because okay, I couldn't well. find a complete run because I came into it way too late into comics. Because that's also yeah. a thing, especially when you want to get single issues, you're always struggling to find like a bunch of issues. Yeah. Ooh. <coughs> Another yeah, one. Ooh. Though they are lacking in the tit department, though. I mean, 
It's kind of like flat earth. <laughs> like when you see her as Miss Marvel, it's like out there going to Prada style. Depends on the artist, right? True. We need filthy artists in the, what's it, comic community. Take care of the boobs. Another Simon drawing. That's the best one from that episode. I was like proud of that one. And then you gave it to me. Aww. Because <laughs> uh, you what you watched that one, I remember. So I was like, uh, yeah, Matilda. I drew them on Laymore frame. Was it the Thundercats? Uh... Yeah, it was Thundercats. This is a cool cover. Fuck. It makes me feel like it's Christmas again. <laughs> now I can read the entire series. And we have here a drawing of Simon himself. <laughs> <laughs> that Doesn't that look like Whoopi Goldberg? In a way, yeah. No. <laughs> She's having like breathing problems because her face is a bit blue. I see Whoopi Goldberg. I'm, I've never seen this cover. And there are boobs. There you go. That was when they did all the Stan Lee things at the top. I don't even think I have a comic that has this on top of it. Yeah, I think every book for that month, I think, came out with that. Fucking awesome. Ah, this is the one that you were showing in one of your videos that you were having a small debate about, like, is this sexy yeah. or not? <laughs> <laughs> but she's showing some lag. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't. Yeah, watch. no, I just thought the overall art style, I wasn't feeling it as much. Fucking Greek mythology here. And then I think you were in the chat saying, I like that cover. I was like, cool, it's yours. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Oh, shit, all this fucking glare. If it's not the stupid lamp that I have on at night, it's daylight. Like, ew. This is cool. Wonder what happened? Is this after... Uh, the other series with all the Jenny Frizzle art covers? Because I remember yeah, that the, the numbers jumped really strange. Yeah. So um, they, Josh Middleton is doing all the covers now. Because I don't understand shit because it was like going from like 80 on, on number 90 or whatever um, and then it so went to went, 700. I think they call it legacy numbers. I think that's what they call it. Because like the 750th issue or something came out like in total, and then they just started going from 750. Okay. In the case of, to get it confusing because it's DC in yeah. the end. <laughs> yeah. And comic books are confusing in general. Damn. Damn. I don't even know I gave you that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. I think that's mine. <laughs> Want me to send it back? <laughs> That's a uh, Momoko Vampirella. I might have got two, maybe. Maybe I got two. So cool. Because I do see her name a lot now, suddenly everywhere, because everyone's talking about Momoko. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like some of her stuff, but I don't. I think she's well overhyped. Like, she's got a black cat cover. You know how the Marvel are doing all the alien covers? Unfortunately, um, black cat one she did, and black cat looks terrible. Like her legs are just it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, with black cat in general, I don't know how the new series look, but the inside is just fucking horrible. Woo. <laughs> Matilda shares my love for comic boobs. 
I think she even said on one of the covers that she was judging throughout the way last Saturday that, yeah, well, at least she shaved. And I was like, okay, that could be me saying that. <laughs> Reaching the numbers back to the books from the count. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think Wonder Woman 750 was like the 750th issue of Wonder Woman. And then after that, they just started, kept going from 750. So that you would forget all the previous ones. Because I remember I just bought them all for the Jenny Frizen art covers. Yeah. And by the time I just had 10 and I had not read any of the books, I was like, okay, let's read it. But I, that was such a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, have really... a, I have a massive collection of Wonder Woman books and I have not read any of them. They're all covered by it. <laughs> right. And only recently I read... Um, online uh, Wonder Woman Odyssey and her outfit is really fucking badass in that one but there's also so much action going on it's like finally this is the Wonder Woman that I want to see so that's definitely Dead, Dead Earth was good if you've read that the Black Label one that um, I think everyone, the art is yeah, you know, the art was yeah I didn't want to read it I put it off for so long because I hated the art but then so many people kept saying how good it was and then I read it and I was like yeah it was pretty good but that's really um, the only woman I've read. I might just read it online just for the fuck of it. But I remember seeing it uh, in the shop when it came out. And I was like, oh, Wonder Woman. And I thought the cover was ugly. I was like, well, maybe the inside is pretty, but it was still ugly as fuck. I was like, eh. And then someone was like, yeah, but that's that artist. That the fact that he did it for Wonder Woman. I was like, get the fuck out of here. This shit is ugly. <laughs> yeah, the story can make up for it, though, I think so. Yeah, so that's what he's saying. Like, they add up all the issues from all the volumes, and once they got to the 750th issue, they just called it 750 to celebrate, I think. All right. Because I don't know shit. I mean, you call yourself the comic book new, but I think you know more than I do. Yeah, but Mark has to explain all this stuff to me, so. Are you talking about Momoko or are you Jenny Frizzon, probably Momoko? Yeah, I think she's talking about Momoko. But also, yeah, but you know, Jenny Frizzon art. I mean, it looks nice, but it's like same shit, different cover. Mm. Most of the time. She, her style is obviously very obvious, but uh, I think she does faces differently. Like Scott Campbell does diff like the same face on everyone. True. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Yeah, but isn't it the... the, the DC too. That's kind of like weird. Because I do hear like a lot of mixed reviews on the Future State thing, and I know that you did a whole video on that. Uh, I've only read I've only read the Wonder Woman one, and that was actually really good. Yeah, kind of sassy and stuff. And I was like, hey, she does it. I mean, I don't know shit, so I just went into it thinking it was Diana Prince. I was like, this is Diana Prince, and I was like, oh fuck, she's actually really nice. I didn't wow. know it was such a fantasy sort of book. Like with the Pegasus and like the little dwarf pixie elf character thing. The cutie. Yeah. Grandman. Oh my god. You know, I got glasses for a reason. And I, I never wear the I should be because I'm like uh okay. The next book. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I had a few of those. I might have, I may have had four or maybe even five copies of it, so I could spare one. So just when I was dissing Jenny Frizzle and I, here she is. <laughs> this one is so fucking cool. And it sucks because my comic shop has been lacking so much especially with the variants because i remember because i have up until issue 22 of all catwoman single issues but i think 23 was some sort of like key issue or whatever and i don't uh, know yeah, exactly yeah. what it was and that people sure. refer it. and ever since then it's really hard to find catwoman so i hope when there's a con in the future i can uh, 
don't pay more than normal price for that book. It is no one cares about that character. That it was the first appearance of, I think. It was like Cat Girl or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah. Pussy bitch. I've got every cover of that Catwoman run because um, that was the first book I started from issue one when I started collecting like two years ago. So Catwoman one came out. It was one of the first books I bought. So I've got like every cover and I'm trying to get every version too. So I've got like the issue one. I've got the variant of it. I've also got there's like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which is foil. Um, and I'm trying to get all the foil exclusives as well. All I need is the Matilda Gothica sketch cover that she did. Matilda? Yeah. In order to get a love letter, you have to send the sketch cover. <laughs> and that sketch cover for a love letter. Yeah, because that, that Catwoman, I was uh, suggested, like, because I was getting all the Captain Marvel and, and what's Black Cat. And I was just running with it. I was like, shit. But then someone said, you should read the Catwoman one. And I was like, okay. And especially the first six issues, I was like, oh, this is actually really fucking good. Yeah, Joelle Jones' art on it is the best. Like that Selena Kyle in that first in that first story arc was amazing. Yeah, that should definitely be a character, Matilda. You should create Pussy Bitch. And her <laughs> superhero name would be Gothica. <laughs> oh. There you go. Get the, get the love letter. The <laughs> The one, I, I think you were the first one to mention this book. Like, did you read Inkblot? I was like, no. Yeah, see, I read that issue. That's the second print, I think, because I couldn't get the first print. It sold out the first week, and I just wanted to read it, so I got a second print. I read it, and I was like, I don't care about this book. It's got, But then Mark got me an issue two as well, and I was like, I didn't ask for it, but okay, I'll buy it. And then it's like. <laughs> Animation pile. So, oh, but there's also one. Yeah, this I uh, gave you first two issues. Snap. Yeah, that kitty pile. I do remember Sarah mentioning it on the Saturday stream that she basically just only has this book to stare at the cat. Exactly. So I just I got to the end of the first issue and I was like, I do not care. I've seen the cat. <laughs> I've seen the cat. A cutie. So I got a pretty awesome AO fucking K or AOL, I should say. Yes, it's an AOL. <laughs> Shit. Wait, did you get the badge in the box? No, it's, there, there is. Unless you wrapped it in some plastic. It would have gone, I reckon it went flying or something when you pulled out the thing because I'm pretty sure I chucked the badge and the card in there. Because I know other people who have sent stuff have uh, found the badge later on their floor somewhere because it flew out of the box when they uh, pulled everything out. Hold on. Fuck. Let me check. Hey, Perry. No, there's... Nothing here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put a badge in there. I know we don't put the badge without the card, the card without the badge. Oh, well, next AOL. Next AOL. It's got to be there. I think it was Old Wolf. I sent something to Old Wolf, and then he like found the badge later on because like, he flew out of the box when he pulled it, pulled it out. Oh, no, I think it was in the bag still when he was about to throw it out. Maybe, hopefully, it will appear later, or it's a mystery. Cue the X-Files theme. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> uh, this chat, I cannot. Right, because he's already that disappointed in you, right? <laughs> or maybe you can send her a cassette while you are uh, talking to her. Dear Matilda. Uh, 
I guess in blood. Perry! Yeah, the dead cat. It's a Christmas. It's time. I miss my cat. What did you do with your cat then? I wrapped it up and sent it to the Netherlands. Because <laughs> I remember you you were talking about the joke like because she pissed on your carpet you're like oh, but my cat is gone i was like oh you fucker <laughs> oh my gosh should, should i be worried what's inside <laughs> oh there's like a mouse coming out spider Jeff had too nice to me with this a AOL, so I'm like, there must be something that you just want to fuck me over. <laughs> no, the letter was the best part, I told you. If you guys missed the uh, start of the stream, you gotta go back to the letter. It was all about that letter, the best part. <laughs> an actual kitty. <laughs> I got you an actual cat. Holy shit. It's goose. <laughs> now press his chest. Press his chest for the camera. Is it? <laughs> Looks like your cat, though. So uh, it's it's a. Uh... There you go. See, I saw it like because um I hadn't sent you thing yet, and I saw that. <laughs> Well, in a toy shop, and I was like, oh, my God, I have to get that and chuck it in the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking cool. <laughs> it's Captain Marvel as well, so it just seemed like it, it suited. Yeah, I should have worn the jacket instead, but uh, I'm wearing a Bait Nito shirt. <laughs> Look at the till that it's fucking ugly. <laughs> uh. and she's talking about Hellboy, of course. Oh fuck it, the camera's not cooperating. Fuck. My new streaming buddy. Goose from Australia. So I had to um like I said the book I was like I had those books packed ages ago, and I was like, every time I saw you do another AOK, -OK, I was like, man, my books suck. I can't send you these books. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, like, um... I think only the shit that I've been putting out lately is just AOK -OK videos. I'm like, oh, my God, I, f I, f I feel like I should be also releasing some content, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he is. Stop fantasizing about Hellboy Dick until then. <laughs> so there you go. Some fucking Captain Marvel, eh? <laughs> Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> and just right fit for my age because it says three plus yeah so attentive <laughs> so let's do a, a quick recap i got a wonderful wonderful love letter <laughs> i'm surprised how how neat your handwriting is by the way only when i take my time of uh yeah i'm actually quite messy when i write fast so you took your time. I had to think. I didn't know. I just like had to think. I was like, I couldn't write down something if it wasn't funny, right? I had to think. Yeah, that's the worst part of it all. I didn't... <laughs> so I got a shit ton of Captain Marvel off today. Ah! That can be your reader copy. <laughs> the sticky page uh, copy. No, because that one is going with the, the Funko. On the oh, toilet. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 it 
This one is fucking legit. Well, every fucking book is legit. Fuck. I thought you would have had that. Like, literally, that Catwoman book was the last one. Like, I'd already packed it away. And then again, you got another AOK. -okay. I was like, you know what? I reopened it and chucked that in there, hoping that you didn't have it. <laughs> it literally started off as just those Captain Marvel books. And That's then your AOK cool. just kept coming in. And I was like, my Captain Marvel books suck. <laughs> Well, I, I get mostly the 90s books because everybody knows that I really like those not 90s trashy books that, that, that everyone uses as toilet paper. And I'm like, oh, this is fucking genius. Oh, you get all those mad covers. I can't believe some of the shit they send you. That too. I get knocked out every time. Like that first one that Puff sent you, I was like, what the? You just sending her that? You just <laughs> giving right? that to her? What the hell? <laughs> Never seen this cover. Well, actually, lately I see a lot of people post Captain Marvel covers. I'm like, I never saw that shit. But then it's from like a different series. I'm like, I didn't know that existed. So that's how much. Been, uh, I'm sure there's been about three Captain Marvel series since I've gotten to comics, and that was only two years ago. So true. Captain Marvel. Ooh, the no booby cover. And the fucking awesome gem, the holograms. Ooh. Yeah, my friend gave me that and I was like, what is this? <laughs> you might just like it. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Have you ever seen that 80s cartoon? But well, that was an 80s cartoon. Yeah. Jam and oh, all no. no. Oh, wait. I've seen the pop vinyls now that I think about it because the logo looked familiar. But no, I don't remember the show. It's so cool because we didn't have Jam and Holograms on TV here. But instead, I had like Barbie and the Rockers. <laughs> yeah, see, By I the way, like. Barbie and the Rockers, she gave a concert for world peace. She went to the universe. She's the first artist that went to space to perform for world peace. Just so you know, putting it out there. Okay. She's legit. And a, no button, what the fuck? I'm telling you the button's there. I put it in there, I know I did. I hope it will show up somehow, because that will be cool. Mm -hmm. Well, if it didn't, I have to send another one, aren't I? <laughs> that button is famous because Matilda has one on her bag next to Batman and Hellboy. I'm part of her trinity, as she likes to say. Maybe she's just in love with you. <laughs> My Captain Marvel collection is just becoming bigger and bigger. Uh... Uh, like, I have, like, sh a shitload of things on display, and I just almost don't know what to put where. You're probably the only person that <laughs> is, the, <laughs> is a big Captain Marvel fan. I don't think I can name anyone. <laughs> That's bullshit. There are a lot of people out there that like her. It's just that some of the Captain Marvel storylines is just... I like... I prefer her more as Miss Marvel. If you ever run into like the 2006 run, I thought that one was pretty cool. And there's a lot of copy paste going on because that this cover right here reminds me a lot of the storyline they did with the current run with Star because that's just the same thing. Oh, actually, no. I am angelic as fuck, just so you know. I mean, I've also wore the, the, the Star of David for a very long time, and I'm still here, so. <laughs> yeah, but instead, it's on your meat purse. <laughs> True, I have the entire run. Well, not the entire run on my wall, but I have a few issues hanging here. 
And apparently issue 18 is like an expensive one because it's like the first appearance of Mystique. And you got that? Yeah. I got money yeah. on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> I even got the first one twice. Which apparently... Well, thanks to Brie Larson, there will never be any value to it. <laughs> this one is fucking awesome. Jim is truly outrageous. See, in the 80s, I was watching Transformers and what were the other ones. Thundercats, they were the 80s, weren't they? Yeah. He Man, yeah. Master of the Universe. Did you have Samurai Pizza Cats over there? Yes, I love Samurai Pizza Cats. I spoke about that on my stream the other day about Samurai Pizza Cats. Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? <laughs> Samurai Pizza Cats. <laughs> right? <laughs> Whenever I mention Samurai Pizza Cats, people are like, what? Like, what the fuck? That that came on TV here like every Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, I'm pissed. It came out on DVD a few years back. I'm spewing I didn't buy it. I never would have watched it. I buy stuff and I just never watch it. Well, I don't have her first appearance. Also with the X-Men run, because there's also this part, this issue where she became binary and it's a really cool cover where she's wearing the white outfit and all in fire. Yeah. <sighs> She has been through some changes, but one of my favorite covers is this one. It's Marvel and Rogue. Is clothes all torn up? Yeah. This was the 90s. This was what everything, you know, like the more naked, the better. You, you should know having a Gen 13 issue, it's like Especially with the uh, fair child, like her clothes just get ripped. Really? Because that Gen 13 issue I bought was uh, in 3D. Oh, I've got it right here. That's right. Glasses. I was more excited about this pickup, though. I found this as well. Look at that shiny glory. Foil is amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was on the back, too. <laughs> you didn't realize. I was just too busy looking at the front. Uh, I, I, I can't blame you for that. Uh, but, yeah, some of the Gen 13 covers I've seen. Oh, um, there's that one I really want, the one that's like the Janet Jackson. Oh, you've got – you got given that in the AOK, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course you did. Of course <laughs> I did. Where is it? I sometimes watch these AOKs and I'm just like, I saw that on eBay just for, and I would have to pay $60, $70 for it. There it is. Look at that. Banger. I still want to do this entire uh, video series on Gen 13, but I'm slacking so fucking bad because I have all these ideas and I never get to it. But yeah, I pretty much have like the first one, which is cool. Talking about legs. Oh, we got to do that legs battle. Now I know what yeah. I'm up against. That nice cover. <laughs> yeah. The legs cover battle. I think it's a variant of the the first issue because I found in some random ass shop I found the entire like a thick pack of Gen 13. I was like, oh! and I also yeah. found Wildcats, but I was like, I'll get that next time, and was gone. It's hard to find those books um, here, like in the back issues bins. Like you got to go. I can't think of too many shops that would have the one shop that would probably have a lot of that old Gen Thirteen stuff. Is that shop that I always talk shit on, so I refuse to go there. But they got a mad back issue, <laughs> you know, alternate world. Fuck those guys. But um, yeah, they've yeah. got pretty good issues. I can relate to that issue. Because one shop that has a fuck ton of uh, bank issues, I never go there again. Wait, is that because of your mate? Oh, 
your mate who was the mate. <laughs> I love Roxy. She is uh, this character right here. So what is the book I've got? That's like, is that a one shot? Do you know of this one, the 3D one? Or is that like a 3D version of the first issue? Or what is that's it? That's a 3D version of the first issue. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. cool then. I have to start reading because I put it in my two read box, which is unusual. But, yeah, um, you might actually uh, understand some references because uh, Roxy, the character that I showed you with the, the pink streaks, I think it's. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say like that. Yeah, in the first or second issue, she goes to a club and there she there's this weird guy right there that is dressed like Trent Reznor. It's like uh, from the closer video, he has like the the big weird glasses, all thin and. I was gonna say, I looked at the cover. I was like, I like her. She's my favorite already. Yes, and the one lady next to her with the dark hair, she is into women. So there are like some moments that she wants to like massage a woman, and or she gets out of the uh, swimming pool naked. And Caitlin, she's like the smart ass. Like for for me, that was always like a different version of X Men. Because Grudge reminds me kind of like a Wolverine, and Roxy reminds me of a Jubilee. Um, so what? This is Image, yeah. Gen thirteen, are they still? Like, didn't they? Have they ever integrated Gen thirteen into like Marvel or DC? There were some crossovers with Marvel, like Spider Man. Like, you know how, um, Wildcats is it? Like you know how they have, like Grifter and stuff is on um, DC yeah. and stuff now. Because of Wildstorm. I think oh. someone mentioned not that long ago. I, I don't know who it was. Maybe it was you in general. But that the Fairchild was in some other issue. I don't even know who I fucking did stream with or watched the stream with. Yeah. He has a song of, on about it too. So much knowledge. Yeah, yeah, because there was something with uh, the last issue of the run. Because near the end, she becomes uh, the Miss Marvel with that famous Thunderbolt swimsuit-ish outfit, and the continuation was in some uh, Avengers issue. A new battle, I think she means. She's You've amazing. read far more than I have, Matilda. <laughs> Although I'm pretty proud. Like I was sorting through my books tonight because I got a clean. I got a house inspection coming up in a week, um, so I had to clean my house a bit. And I didn't clean my house at all. I, you see that mess? <laughs> um, I pretty much just sorted through some of my books, and I put a bunch of books, all the books that I've read that were just sitting in piles, and put them all in a box. And I had more than a box worth. I was quite proud of myself because I have not been reading very much at all. <sighs> Same shit. I have like so many books here because I have that Ikea cube thing, case, whatever, and so much to read. And then I just end up grabbing my tablet and reading a completely different story. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, house inspection, Matilda, we're here because I'm renting. Uh, every now and then the... Uh, landlord i guess or the real estate agent will request a house inspection and normally they'll send Ooh. like um, your agent over and my agent's really hot <laughs> but uh, now at the moment because of covid i've just got to take photos of the house but it's pretty hardcore you got to take like three photos from each room and so last time i was taking i'll take a photo from one angle and then i'd move a bunch of shit i'd take it from another angle and then move it back yeah, it was painful i didn't know that that was a thing actually yeah, it'd be nice if it wasn't. But I guess it gives me a reason to clean up a bit, but I just can't be bothered, really. person is watching your videos and is like, how much value is in that house? Oh, can you take, like, three pictures of every room? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Kicker Comics is in the house, but just a quick show off. He is the Oprah Winfrey of the Dutch comic book community. He is a comic book hoarder. And he just ends up with some double issues every now and then, and he sends them out to the people in the community. 
so this is actually how we used to read our books. It's a Junior Press book. It's like three issues into one. It's a Spidey, like the one character that was available a fuck lot back in the day. Kurt just woke up and vomited in the chat. Like that's so like five comments in a row come up from him. Yeah. Good morning. I mean, this is Europe. This is early in the afternoon. It's three o'clock in the afternoon right here. And for Simon, it's probably like one o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> in the morning. Oh, it's telling me to watch your stream live right now on YouTube. Probably got like a go live. So you get a notification, but you're hardly ever there. Good to know. Get a. But he sent me some other Spideys that he had double. Uh, I think a 90s run. But Splash is in the house, so he might know uh, what the fuck this is. I like this cover, though. Very detailed-ish. Fucking glare. Probably Matilda's dream, right? But then Hellboy above her toilet. Just pointing it out there. And he sent me crossover. He also had this one double. It's the first Dude. issue, yeah. <clears throat> I've been hearing a lot about it. Like also people like uh, saying that there are like crossovers from other It's kinda like have you seen the movie have you seen the movie Last Action Hero with Arnie? Yeah. It's kind of like that with comics. <laughs> <clears throat> but I, 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 don't, I don't think that movie was that good, though. And an Back in the day, it was good. True. I recently saw a video with uh, the Kinnan God of Cop cops reuniting and all the, the young kids, and I suddenly Schwarzenegger gets in, and there's the chat. Schwarzenegger. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm still curious if there was the button and luckily I have closed the door so I can check like under the bed after this before a cat comes here and just starts like I'm so certain I'm positive I would have put it in there because I always check to make sure it's not going to fly away either but you still managed to do it well I'm stupid just putting it out there Is that the one you want? <laughs> that is the one. So yeah, I got some pretty cool, awesome books by Simon. He was slightly worried that I wouldn't like any of his shit, but I actually fucking love it. Okay. Thank you very much, Simon. All good, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got into trouble by calling someone a bitch. No, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was on the stream. I got fucking drunk, drunk as fuck, and I was basically calling someone a bitch like every second. <laughs> like it was like a 90s rap song, bitch, bitch. <laughs> but I, I can't remember any of it. Kirk probably knows what stream I'm talking about. It was a 24 hour stream and I was like joining the party and it was like New Year, so it was like, got pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think being under the influence on Australia. Actually, no, I've been pretty drunk before. I'm on Old Wolf's <clears throat> chat once. I was having shots of absinthe, and I can't even remember how many I had by the end. And I remember, all I remember is right at the end, it was just let, like, because Old Wolf had the, has these um, just hangout streams, and literally people just come in and out for the whole, for like four or five hours. And literally, I was sitting there for a while, and I don't know how many shots I had, but at the end, it was basically me, Old Wolf, Perry, and Bueller, and I'm just off my face, and I, yeah, it was bad. Like, I literally got to a point where I was like, I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to throw up. And then I pour another shot before I go, and then I went and threw up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just the one extra kick, you know, to uh, 
It's true. I was, uh, I, I finished an entire bottle of wine on that stream, so. And I didn't eat much that day, so yeah, it, it was kicking in pretty fast. And I think it was just me giggling the whole time. And uh, bitch, bitch. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same as usual, but I guess if someone is not used to me, they might be like in shock. Like, ew, she says bitch a lot. <laughs> Which is why I think people might trip out as well the way I talk to you as well because <clears throat> you give me so much shit. I was like, bitch, I ain't taking your shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, but but I take no offense in that. Actually, my mom used to call me a bitch too, but in, in like a nice way. But someone That's else cool. would be like, what the fuck is going on then? And she'd just call her daughter a bitch, yeah. But you'd know, you would understand if, uh, if you knew how I am. <laughs> Your mom sounds like a cool lady. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, she passed away. But yeah, it's uh, she was fucking awesome. She was legit. I'm I'm basically Simon's nightmare, but but at least I got a laugh letter out of it and a sight. <laughs> I even did a little hard for you. I should have no. drawn a That's what I should have done. <laughs> Well, I wear it with like shit because I think you're a piece of shit. Or is that too much? The whole love letter was the whole point of that love letter was to actually break your heart at the end. So <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we all have a moment where we just basically lose our shit during a stream. The only thing that I didn't like was that there were some people in the chat afterwards talking shit, like as if I was completely ruining that stream. Like I would have had respected it more if you were there, if I if I was there to defend myself. But yeah, fuck it. Because Simon knows by now I can defend myself. Yes, Matilda did write a poem about me. It was very nice. I will, I'll have to send you another book, Matilda, that I want you to read, and I'll, uh, I'll, in, I'll include a love letter. Maybe I'll include a poem for you. How's that? Oh, like the amazing poem she wrote for you? Yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom, she was smart. She was, when I was a kid, because obviously – no, no parent can be that naive, right, that your kid doesn't learn curse words at a young age at school. So my mom made a deal that I was not allowed to say it throughout the day, that I had to say it at night for five minutes under the blanket so she could hear what the fuck I was learning in school. So I was like, fuck, cunt, bitch. So it worked. Uh, Six briskets. Oh my goodness. Invite us over, mate. What's that? S briskets. It's like a cut of beef. Like bar mate, barbecue brisket. Some of the best thing one of the best things you can eat. They like normally like slow cook it or whatever for a long okay. time. They go to a soft and it's like a barbecue. You guys have barbecue places in the Netherlands? Barbecue, yes. Barbie? Barbecue. I mean that's what it sounds like in your Australian accent, barbecue. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, it seems that Matilda is really into like deal making today. <laughs> but you sound so British. Fuck her off. Brisket no. is hella good. It is so good. Oh, man. Problem is, right? So if you guys don't have barbecue stuff in there, right? So barbecue places here in Australia are pretty pricey when you go there. And if you order the brisket, they give you like two maybe strips, sometimes three maybe if you're lucky. But normally they give you like two strips for the expensive ass meal. It's two strips and you eat it in like 30 seconds because it's so good. I like value for money. You get like an entire plate of meat. Yeah, in America, I'd imagine it'd be a lot cheaper too. Yeah. And they call it the small it. version. <laughs> All right. So you got anything planned for your channel or 
aside from no. the the leg cover contest um i don't really i've got a lot of videos i need to film and i just am not motivated to film them so i will take a break and i'll be back <laughs> when i'm ready True. <laughs> Uh, so, so I will have a live stream coming up this Thursday with uh, Gabby the Fantastica on her channel. So sub her up. We're going to talk about uh, House of M and uh, this classic right here from the 80s, with Scarlet Witch and Vision, before the series drops on Friday. And on Saturday, we will do a stream on my channel where we will talk about the first episode. But I think two episodes are dropping. I'm not sure. And uh, so Gabby will be there, um, perhaps Captain Sarah, depending, I guess, on the time, because it's like really early uh, when I go live. Uh, and Robert, the G-Man, comic book, uh, comic book G-Spot, the Godfather. So it's going to be fun. <sighs> I hope. But thank you, Matilda. I see you later, cunt. <laughs> 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 and on that note, see you later, cunts. <laughs> see ya. Let's end it.